Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Andy Rue channel. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite movies as a kid. That movie is The Mighty Ducks. I loved this movie so much as a kid that I actually started playing hockey and got pretty good at it. It did the same thing that The Karate Kid did to me. Because of The Karate Kid, I'm doing Muay Thai now. Anyways, I watched The Mighty Ducks recently with my mom, and I never noticed how similar the plots were between Cobra Kai and this movie. Also note that I haven't seen this movie in years. Here's a little rundown on the movie if you haven't seen it. The main character is Gordon Bombay. He's a hotshot lawyer that is haunted by the memories of his childhood when he lost a winning goal in a championship hockey game shootout. Gordon was the star player of his team and his coach was ruthless. After being charged for drunk driving, the court orders him to coach a peewee hockey team, the worst in the league actually. Gordon is at first very reluctant, but he eventually gains the respect of the kids and teaches them how to win. That's pretty much the summary of the story. Yes, I read it online. You may think to yourself that hockey and karate are completely different, but let me explain the similarities. So let's start with the comparison of the characters in each universe. First, I'll compare Gordon Bombay with Johnny Lawrence and Coach Riley with John Kreese. Coach Riley is Gordon's old coach, by the way. So both Johnny and Gordon were the best at their sports as a kid. They were the star of their team and the hotshot in the whole league. Both the Mighty Ducks and Cobra Kai start with a flashback from when they were young in the final tournament. They both lose their shot and it fast forwards to many years later when they're both adults. They're both making a living for themselves, but you know they're not happy. They're both alcoholics and are pretty much miserable. After Johnny loses his job and Gordon gets his case demoted, they both go out and start drinking and driving. Johnny and Gordon drinking and driving both lead them to opening up Cobra Kai and coaching the Ducks. Gordon because his community service says he has to, and Johnny because he ran into Daniel trying to get his car. If Johnny never got upset and went to drive, then he would never have started Cobra Kai. Him getting his car wrecked led him to talking to Daniel and giving him the inspiration to open up Cobra Kai. It's the same for Gordon. If he never got pulled over and got community service, then he wouldn't have coached the Ducks. They are both the mentor figure to these kids in these stories and start learning from their mistakes as well throughout it. They don't start off so great when they meet these kids. Gordon teaches the kids the methods he was taught from his old coach, just like Johnny did with his students. I'm actually making the Mighty Ducks movie span across a few seasons of Cobra Kai, which is why I say the movie could predict the end of season 3, or the show in general. At the end of season 1 is when Johnny starts to realize that a lot of what he's teaching is wrong, such as not showing mercy. Gordon realizes what he's teaching is wrong near the beginning of the movie. They both realize that their teacher's teachings were wrong and realize it's not all about winning. It is about fair play and honor. Now we can compare John Kreese with Coach Riley. They are both all about winning and will do whatever it takes to win. We could also compare Cobra Kai to the Hawks hockey team. They have won every single year in the finals except when Johnny or Gordon lost at the very end and got second place. I don't really think Coach Riley choked out Gordon in the parking lot but he's willing to hurt the other team so he can win. All right, hold it, hold it. I want you to drop Banks like a bad habit. I want it out of the game. Finish him off, you got it? Yeah. Okay, boys, let's go, let's go. All right! Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No sensei. No mercy. Whatever happened made Gordon quit hockey just like it made Johnny quit karate. They both also look up to their coach as a father figure. Johnny because his stepdad was a prick and Gordon because his dad died that year. They both cared about what they thought and they both started to realize that they shouldn't have cared. I'll get more in depth with that later. Let's also compare Miguel Diaz to Charlie Conway. They are both the main mentee character in the story. They both started off really bad at their sport and grew a really close connection to Johnny and Gordon. Not to mention that Johnny and Gordon both dated their moms. Charlie became the captain of the Ducks, and I would say that Miguel is the captain of Cobra Kai, or the lead guy since there are no captains in karate. They both also refused to give in to the old lessons that Johnny and Gordon were taught. Well, 
Actually, Miguel did give in to it until Johnny told him not to. Regardless, Miguel still stood up the crease and told him that Johnny wasn't teaching them those lessons anymore. Also, Charlie and Miguel did what Johnny and Gordon couldn't do, which was win at the end. Now that we have the characters' connections established, we can start to compare where the story has been going with the Mighty Ducks and Cobra Kai. They have both been the same up until a certain point, which is why I say that the movie will span across a few seasons. Much like the students in Cobra Kai turn their back on Johnny, most of the Mighty Ducks players turn their back on Gordon too. It was because of something they thought they heard, except Charlie, and another character by the name of Fulton Reed, which I'll compare to Aisha or Bert since they were not at the end with Crease. This might be a bit of a stretch, but notice how each student and player turned their back on Gordon and Johnny because of something Crease might have said and what Coach Riley did say. At this point in the movie, Gordon is ready to give up because everyone turned their back on him. That is, until Charlie convinces them to try and talk to them because he made them who they are. Much like how Johnny made everyone in Cobra Kai who they were. Remember that Cobra Kai only turned their back on Johnny because of what happened to Miguel, along with Kreese's manipulation. I believe that Miguel will still be loyal to Johnny when he wakes up and will convince him to take back Cobra Kai, just like how Charlie convinced Gordon to take the ducks back. I'm not exactly sure how it will happen in Cobra Kai, but I do believe that he will get it back. That is a video for another day though. After Gordon gets the Ducks to let him be his coach again, he figures out that a player on the Hawks team is supposed to be playing for them instead. That player is Adam Banks, who also happens to be the star player of the Hawks this year, and everyone on the Ducks hates him. Could we compare Adam Banks to Robbie Keane? I do believe some people will switch sides again, just like how we saw that happen in Season 2. Will that character be Robbie? I have seen a lot of theories with people thinking that Robbie will go to Cobra Kai, and I don't think that is a bad theory. If he does go to Cobra Kai though, then I think it will be under Johnny and not Kreese, since Robbie and Johnny have been getting closer, along with the fact that Robbie has nowhere else to go. No one gets along with Adam at first, but they eventually accept him since Gordon pretty much says, He's on the team now. Deal with it. This could symbolize how Johnny or Kreese will tell Cobra Kai that Robbie is in Cobra Kai now, so deal with it. But all this could actually symbolize how people from Cobra Kai switched to Miyagi-Do in Season 2. I'm mostly referring to Chris and Dimitri since he was with Hawk bullying him at the mall, just like how Adam was with the Hawks at the beginning of the movie bullying the Ducks. It is all up to your interpretation. Either way, it is pretty cool how we can make the connection to each scenario. Evidence does point more towards Dimitri and Chris since they learn how to work together and become friends. Not to mention that Chris and Mitch became rivals after the switch was made. This is just like how Adam's old Hulk teammates acted towards him and targeted him. So, I would say more evidence points towards Chris and Adam being compared to each other. Like I said, it could work either way. I know I compared Cobra Kai to the Ducks, but can also work the same way when you compare them to Miyagi-Do as well. Now on to the rest of the movie. So the Ducks barely make it into the playoffs and then barely make it into the championship game. Can you guess who they're playing in the championship game? Yep, you got it. It's the Hawks. Now this is where the big theory comes in with Cobra Kai. Gordon faces off against his old coach in the championship game, and I think the same thing will happen with Johnny and Kreese. It is possible that Daniel and Johnny's combined dojo could face off against Kreese's dojo in the tournament, but... I am making my theory on the end of Cobra Kai in general. I actually don't think their dojos will be allowed in the tournament this year after what happened at the school fight. So in the end of the movie, the Ducks beat the Hawks by Charlie taking one last penalty shot with the score being 5-4. You may think that the best part about the movie is that the underdogs win in the end, but I think the best part is how Gordon is finally able to move on from his past. I think what makes the Mighty Ducks and Cobra Kai the most similar is the theme of it all. I think the whole point of Cobra Kai is to let go of the past and look towards the future. This is something that both Johnny and Daniel have to learn in the show, along with something that Gordon learned how to do at the end of the movie. Of course, it is fun to make these comparisons with the characters, but knowing what the theme is will really decide the show will go the same direction as the movie, which I think it will. At some point, Johnny will have to face off against Kreese and will have to let go of what happened 30 years ago. My favorite scene in The Mighty Ducks is this one here against us they're going to pay the price now don't worry we're going to get that one back you got something to say to me bombay 
think I wasted all those years worrying about what you thought. You're going down, Riley. This scene symbolizes that Gordon has finally let go of the past and his old coach has no effect on him. This almost happened in Cobra Kai Season 2, but Johnny decided to give Kreese another chance. Obviously, we know now as well as Johnny that Kreese is no good, so my prediction will be that Johnny will finally stand up to Kreese and let go of the past like Gordon did. Anyways guys, that's just my theory for how Cobra Kai will end, or at least the end of Season 3, because this show will throw in new problems left and right. The Mighty Ducks did have two more sequels, but that's pretty irrelevant if we're comparing it to the show. Either way, I think it is cool how this movie ties in with the show in a way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe. If you do, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.